this is thunder or is it? Let's talk about transcendence. Let's talk about getting out of our own way, getting the self and all its worries and stress and imaginings and struggling, getting that out of the way and letting spirit come through you, great spirit, spirit that moves in all things. When that comes through you, everything else seems to pale in, into insignificance. Everything else seems rather mundane. Everything else seems irrelevant in a way. So we get all caught up in the complexity of life and situations around us or situations involving us and we get to the point where we forcibly try to control situations to come out in our favor or what we think to be our favor. And that's the wrong way to get things done. The right way to get things done is to get out of our own way, detach, and let spirit come through and work the solution out for us. Instead of grasping and whining and moaning and bewailing situations, sometimes it's best to, well I should say all the time it's best to let that higher spirit that higher self, that higher energy, just flow through us, relinquish, let go. I don't care what it is, what kind of situation it is that we think we're perceiving. Because remember, we're perceiving things through the eyes sometimes of everything that we think was us or everything that we think is us or everything that has bro been programmed into our mind as us along with all the trauma from the past that we're holding on to that we think is us, which is coloring our world uh, as if looking through a pair of shades. And we think that's reality when in fact it isn't. Because everything that has ever been done to us, this ego self, this self-identifying ego is no longer anything in the past is no longer happening to us now is it it's only in our mind it's only in our mind and so uh, do we hold on to the trauma that has been bestowed upon us or uh, the perceived trauma from past events and current events, do we do we uh, do we uh, look at that as being real? Do we still experience it in our bodies? Do we hold tension from it in our bodies, or do we release that and everything that goes with it? All the symptoms that go with it, all the stress that goes with it, all the anxiety that goes with it. Do we hold on to those things of the past that we feel were done to us? When you reach a certain uh, threshold with adversity, I'm finding, that you can grasp and, and cry and, and, and wail and moan and it won't do you any good because uh, <laughs> you're not letting go and letting spirit work out what it needs to with you. Okay. You're not letting that, that golden energy come through. Okay. 
Now, when you let the golden energy come through, you, you glow and you become, you become uh, one with spirit. And when you become one with spirit, then spirit works things out for you, like I said before. And the world is really much ado about nothing. I mean, we, when you think about it, when you think of all the things that are going on in the world, it's much ado about nothing. And all the little machinations of people and places and things and events and wars and uh, bad deeds are all much do about nothing. It doesn't hold any power over us unless we give it power. If we give it power, then it holds power over us. If we don't give it power, if we let spirit work it out for us, then it doesn't hold any power over us. And it enables us to be observers. And when we're observers, it's just like, okay, when we come into this world, we take on this physical body and we become like aliens on a little spacecraft cruising around in this physical body. And, and the best way to experience life is to become an observer of life. And if you're just an observer of life, you take note of what's going on around you. You take note of things that are happening to you. You take note and you learn from and you look for whatever lesson or silver lining is there for you. And when you learn that, you pass that on to other people in order to maybe give them some insight on certain situations that they might encounter like you're encountering. I've always felt that way. I've always felt like, well, this is if this is good for me, then it's good for it, it would be good for other people. And I went on that premise when I wrote my book and when I speak and when I channel energy like I'm doing now. And it feels good people to just let that energy flow through you and glow. Okay. And you become one with everything that is. And it's so much stronger than all this stuff that, that we feel and see and experience going on around us. Um, remember, we are nothing more than God experiencing or the creative source experiencing itself. Uh, and it has to work out what it has to work out. It has to, it has to, the Hindus call it Leela, divine play, okay? And it's doing its thing. And it's working out whatever process needs to be work out, worked out within this realm, whatever, uh, whatever situations need to be balanced, okay? Sometimes it does it through people Sometimes it does it through events. And these people in events and whatever uh, may not be, you know, we may not comprehend the, the why or wherefore of it. But if we just understand that if we get out of the way and watch it like we're in that little vehicle traveling around, uh, Things will be worked out, okay? And as we come into this vehicle, as we're born into it with a little bit of pain, we'll go out with a little bit of pain too and leave the vehicle here. Um, it's an interesting journey, isn't it? Life, it's so meaningful and so... Uh, awe-inspiring, but yet on one hand, it's uh, with, when, when uh, approached with the, the proper frame of mind, um, 
some of the things that we make too meaningful or allow us to be stressed out by and that's see that's as we as we flow through as we flow through this 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 realm there's little uh oh let's let's call them uh energy patterns or whatever are going to hit this vehicle okay it's like flying you know if you hit turbulence um you can overcompensate for it if you're in an airplane and you're a pilot and you hit turbulence, you can overcompensate and freak out, turn the rudder, turn the, turn the ailerons, and get out of control just by overcompensating. And so that's what happens in life. <clears throat> we overcompensate all the time and we try to over control and we try to forcibly do things, forcibly make things right. We can't do that. There's no way to forcibly make things right. The only way to make things right is to totally let go and let spirit work it out for you. Okay? And that spirit is what's riding around in this vehicle. See, it's almost like there's there's two people in the vehicle, right? There's your there's one one person that's uh trying to control the vehicle according to what it's experienced as it has gone through this life, okay? And then there's one that's a little bit higher up that's almost like an autopilot that if you let that control the vehicle, uh, everything will be fine, okay? Everything really is fine with that autopilot on and that autopilot is, or that co-pilot or whatever it is, is spirit. But sometimes this person that we think we are is steering this ve vehicle through life, okay? And as we're doing this, uh, we're, we may have been traumatized or scared or whatever, and so we're over controlling and we're doing this and we're doing that. But if we just let go of the controls, then let spirit take over, then the, the vehicle rights itself and goes through this time-space continuum uh, by being directed by spirit and everything is going to turn out for the best. And so we have to, we have to relinquish, we have to, we have to detach, we have to, sometimes you just have to let go of the controls and put it on autopilot. Perfect example of that is uh, when you're flying and if you get in a spin, okay, which means you stall the airplane out, you go into a spin, you're spinning into the ground. How do you get out of it? Well, there's a procedure for getting out of it. <clears throat> but if you don't remember that, a good flight instructor will just say, let go of the controls, all of them. And the airplane will eventually, because it's aerodynamic, straighten itself out and get into a situation where you can take back control again. Okay. But you just sometimes got to let go of the controls for this vehicle to ride itself and, and for everything to be balanced out again aerodynamically. So you can, can use that same... That same... Uh, procedure for life, just letting go, let it, just let go. You can't forcibly make things the way you want them to be sometimes, and so you just have to flow with it. Allow spirit to move through you, okay? Because spirit has this wisdom that this self doesn't have, although we think we're wise, there's a much wiser oracle and that is the spirit that moves in all things. The energy is kind of pulsating through me so fast today that I'm just going to kind of probably keep this video short, but I thought I'd just throw these ideas out there. Uh, I've said it before in other ways, probably. Uh, so anyway, think on these things, people, and peace unto you.